Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, man, I ain't doing much. Uh, today's Memorial Day, so I'm trying to do some maintenance on the uh, Camaro. And then also I want to do some stuff on the GN. Definitely we need to take that thing to get some gas. I haven't drove this since the last time I uh, replaced the transmission fluid. And, uh, and it's on E, so we're going to go get some gas for that thing. But let me go ahead and finish uh, doing maintenance work on this. So what I'm doing, I'm finishing up on the oil change. Um, all I got to do is put the oil and stuff in. But the other day, man, it gave me a kind of a scare that I came out in the garage. It was a big oil spot. Well, it was right there um, in my garage, and it come from the Camaro. And I... I thought something was wrong. I thought maybe I blew the engine because I was giving my grandkids a ride. And, and of course, they like the torque and everything. But make a long story short, uh, there was a big puddle of oil right here. And then come and find out that uh, that nozzle right there, it what dra drains the uh, catch can. Somehow it backed out. It was loose and it was draining all the oil on, my, on the ground. So it gave me kind of a scare. So... Uh, like I say, uh, I drained that a few minutes ago during the oil change. I drain it every time that I do the oil change. So I'm going to get that done, put my oil in, then fill it up with meth, and then we'll take the uh, Grand National out and get some gas. All right, now it's time for me to put the oil in. I didn't drain my catch can. And uh, this car takes like 10 quarts of oil. So this is what I'm doing on Memorial Day. Like I say, the weather's not, I thought it was supposed to rain, but it didn't. So, so I decided to just go ahead and change the oil in the car and just do a little quick maintenance on them. When I'm done with this, guys, I'll, uh, I'll turn this back on when I'm done with this. All right, so I got everything topped off. Got my oil changed, the methanol topped off. Now onto this car right here. We definitely have to go get some gas for this one. And I definitely got to put my tags on. That's how much I drive this car. I know I went a year without putting it on. And uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and put that on. All right, so we're in the Grand National. So we're gonna go try to get some gas. Hope I make it. I haven't drove this car since the last one of the videos. I changed the uh, transmission fluid. So, I ain't got time for this thing to warm up or anything, but let me uh, at least prime the methanol. All right, I still gotta mount that gauge, but let's go get some gas for this thing. I can't get on it right now until I get some gas. It's right now, it's, it's on the, the transmission noise just irritates me, but what it is, what it is. As long as it shifts good and I'm rolling, hey, I'm gonna deal with it for a few minutes until I take it out. But it, uh, Feels good to be back in here. Like I said, I really want to get on it, but I'm gonna do it when I after I get some gas. I know it's my fuel pressure gauge is low. It's bouncing on 30. So it, it must be almost out of gas. So I'm gonna go to the nearest gas station. But uh, I'm gonna get back with y'all guys as soon as I get back from the gas station. Guys, let me show you where my fuel pressure is at right now. You can see, uh, it's low. So I'm 
hoping that's due to the low gas, but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna put some gas in and go to the cheapest one. I used to run shale in here, but we'll see. Well, guys, as you can see, none of the pumps working. And I just put like a gallon in at the last station. This is not, you know, let me go on and get some more gas somewhere else, but it won't be shale. And my fuel pressure is still bouncing around, so, oh well. So guys, while I'm uh, headed to another gas station, man, this car feels really good. It feels good to get back in it. It feels really nice. I mean, everything is shifting smooth, just that little noise. And I can't get into it because I'm out of gas and my fuel pressure is not acting right. So I ain't gonna do nothing until I get back home. Maybe I have to check uh, a hot wire kit, make sure all my fuses are plugged up. And uh, we'll just go from that. But first, the nearest thing for me is Kroger's. Uh, I'm gonna put a few gallons in that. And like I say, I really don't like using that. I like using shale. But what it is, what it is. So I get back to y'all guys, I'm gonna get some gas. All right guys, you can see that uh, the fuel pressure went up just a little bit. So I'm gonna get to the house and uh, I check everything out, make sure I adjusted it right. I'm gonna just adjust the fuel pressure and check a bunch of stuff, but uh, we'll see. All right, other than that, man, the car, it shifts good. Everything is good. I was concerned about fuel pressure. So I didn't put that much fuel in here, probably about three or four gallons. Just in case I have to drop the fuel tank or something like that or change out the pumps. So uh, I guess that's what happens when you don't drive this car enough. This is the first time I drove it, probably about two months or so. And, uh, and right now I think I have to turn the idle up because every time I put it in drive sometimes it stalls out, it die out. So some stuff I'm gonna address when I get to the house. So um, I'll see y'all in a few minutes. It, it shifts good, it takes off quick takes off really quick and I will get on it guys but that that fuel pressure kind of concerns me right now uh, everything looks pretty good so Just a little bit and see if the fuel, see if it'll drop. And then we'll see. And it climbs with boost. But if this car right here, you know, it's, it won't uh, drive like a Sunday. But anyway, let me test it later. All right, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to get on it just a little bit and see if the fuel pressure drops. It ain't a full, full, it's not a full scene, but. Look like it's hanging up there, but uh, I really can't tell because I'm trying to film and everything, so. We get at this angle right here. And we'll see. straight way for real quick. Alright, let's try it again. 
adjust the uh, fuel pressure. But we'll see when I get to the house. Okay, so I made it back home. Now let me uh, start this car and see where the fuel pressure is at right now. take the uh, vacuum hose off and we'll see where it, where it drops to. Just that fuel pressure, you can see it's not even, should be around about 43, I think. So, uh, so we'll adjust that real quick. All right, so we uh, adjust the fuel pressure. Forty three. Looks like about around forty one. So let me give a couple of more turns. that it should be right around it's right around 43 right there so let me put the back few lines on and see where it's at got that problem fixed but you know me as I was coming through here I smelled something burning I smelled something like electrical or something let me show y'all what's going on I could never have luck with this car all right as you can see that thing is moving Smell something burning. And, uh, yep. So what I'm gonna do now, I'll just probably just go ahead and put back on my, uh, it's another fan that I've got. Let me turn this car off because I don't want it overheat. The temperature already went up a little bit. So we'll turn this thing off to see. You can see where it's at. So let's turn that off. So next thing I'll probably be doing, probably either replace that fan or I'll put this one back on. There's that Ram charger fan right there. Uh, I'll probably go back with that one. That's if I can't find a, well, if I replace this other one, so.
but that's the problem I'm having with this car. Unbelievable. So while I'm in here, guys, let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and check this thing right here out. This right here is a new laptop. It's not new, but um, it's similar to the one I had before to tune the car. Uh, I bought this one instead of uh, changing a bunch of stuff, buying a new computer and stuff like that. So this is another, I think it's like a 96 window, 95 or something like that. But we're going to check this out and see see if it works on this car. All right, like I say, I had this thing probably about two or three months now, and I, I still haven't checked it out. But as long as that cursor moves right there. Turn the ignition on. I'm just testing just to make sure this thing works. Logging in. Let's connect. Let me start this up. I don't want to leave it running too long. That's why I'm just, I'm just out here just testing this thing out. Uh, communication. So it's showing it's connect. thing we can do some uh data logging and uh you know so i'm gonna turn this off because uh, like i said it's only got one fan but i just want to check make sure everything is okay looks like computer now so let's go ahead and turn this off all right guys i think it's going to be it for the video as you can see you know just problems after problems um it, it's all good man i like I can, I can get it straightened out i got the fuel pressure i haven't tested drove it yet because this fan you know, when i went out and the temperature's over 200 so until i get another fan or a replacement of that one I will see about, you know, giving it a test drive and see what it'll do. But I turned the boost up just a little bit and it felt good. It felt good. Part throttle, it felt really good. Uh, I know on the last video, the boost went coming in and I was like, screw it. Let me turn it up and then we'll deal from that. So I turned it up. It felt good. The transmission shifts good. But, you know, like I said, I know there's some issues somewhere in there, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go probably just let this thing ride out until the end of the year, probably. So, like, in the winter time, I can probably just take it out, take my time, and send it off to Dave. So, with that being said, guys, oh, I have to – I got the fuel pressure. I guess okay. It's staying right where it's supposed to be. And uh, now I need to do a fat fan. So, that's the problem I'm having, guys. So, you know, that's what I do. Have problems. So with that being said, guys, this is your first time watching the video. If you made it this far at the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Uh, hit that like button. It really helps the channel. Uh, usually like when I get on somebody's page on their video, when I watch their video, I hit a like because I know how hard it is to create content. Uh, everybody think, you know, uh, you know, just film and film and film it, but it takes time uh, for people to get out. You know, they probably busy. And but they want to bring you stuff, so I know how it is when you're tired. But yes, still they deliver you some content. And the best thing I can do is to give them a thumbs up to help their channel or subscribe to their channel. That's what I do. You know, it's it's, it's 
this is for everybody. Anybody can do this, but you got to have the support, you know? But with that being said, guys, uh, to the next video, guys, I'm out.